Hey Virgo, so this is for Virgos who are dealing with a Pisces for the month of October 2021. Let's get it Virgos. Uh, between the two of you guys here, it looks like um, this person wants to come back after the fact that they had left you was very much so selfish here with you. They probably feel like they were they they were able to defeat you in some sort of way. But I do see that they are going to try to come back towards you guys. But you guys don't want nothing to do with this Pisces here. You guys found out that this person is very much so deceptive towards you. They come off as very much so emotionally stable and they act like nothing's wrong with their life. But they actually have a lot of deceptive energy around them. I would watch your back when it comes to this person here, Virgos. <sighs> uh, with the death card in reverse, this person hasn't changed. They're still very much so deceptive. And uh, they want to come back towards you, Virgos. You guys are going to be standing in your power. A lot of you guys are very spiritual, very beautiful, very abundant for, for yourself. You guys have very a lot of protection around you here, Virgos, at the same time. And um, regardless, though, with the Queen of Wands, you guys are standing in your power, doing your own thing here as well. But you guys know that this it's not going to happen anymore. Two of Cups in reverse. Uh, there's not going to be any more second chances coming into this connection between you and your Pisces here. This person talks a lot of shit about you. They have nothing but negative things to say about you here, Virgos. And they are emotionally manipulative, maybe even covert narcissist here as well. They try and talk shit, slander your name, the whole nine here, Virgos. Uh, regardless, though, you guys are standing in your power with... The with the strength card to the three of pentacles, you guys are going to continue to work, do your thing here as well. But look at all this, because this is all that had come out. So I was like, whoa, let me just take it all real quick and for, for you guys. So you guys are calling judgment on this connection here between the two of you guys here, Virgos. Some of you guys have known this person for a long time, or lover, or whatever, the, I don't care, you know. Uh, regardless, though, you guys know that this person is nothing but a trickster. And if they're going to come back towards you, they're not going to be able to get that, that, get that <clears throat> ability to come back for you. They're going to be left out in the cold. So they've been left out in the cold because whatever this person tried to do with you with the five of, with the five of swords energy there, mm -mm, they, got, they got their karma for it. They got their karma for it, Virgos. Uh, five of pentacles, six of pentacles. Things are being, being balanced out for them now and, and they're not going to be able to get out of it. They're having nothing but tower moment over tower moment. They might even have an Aquarius who's bringing in the tower moment for themselves as well. Whoever this, somebody is dealing with an Aquarius. Pisces could be dealing with an Aquarius. Because you guys are sitting by yourselves here. You guys are sitting in your power. You're not going to tolerate anything that's going to be false love. You're not You're not bringing that shit in towards you guys. And um, at the end of the day though, Virgos, you guys are just going to let this person know. Like, listen, you're not walking back into my life. You're not walking back to me. I don't forgive you for what you've done. It is what it is. You hurt me, three of swords. Uh, somebody here may have also done some crazy ass type of psychic attack on you guys, Virgos, when it comes to your heart space here as well. And you guys know about it. And you're like, nope, not, I don't, I don't have time for deceptive people like that in my life. I don't have this time for deceptive lovers either. And uh, when this person realizes that they're not going to be able to get a connection with you, they are going to be very much so emotionally upset. And they're going to be taking off again, all right? But you guys can see everything for what it is. So you're not going to be rushing into the situation between you and your Pisces. The will of fortune is in your favor here, Virgos, all right? Because you guys are not doing nothing wrong to this person. They're the ones that are creating all this dilemma and drama for themselves. Uh, you guys are just staying by yourselves here. So trials overcoming, you guys are going to continue to work as well. Also, Virgos, for the ones who are in a good relationship here too, for the Pisces, it's saying that you guys are going to continue to work on your connection here with the Eight of Pentacles to the Lover's card there. And this person, you're, you're, you guys love each other very, very much. And even though they betrayed you really badly with the Ten of Swords energy there, uh, you guys are going to make a decision to call judgment, justice, and to say, you know what, I'm good. Like the Empress, you guys are very much so Empress energy here or Emperor energy there, Virgos. And uh, you are very much so protected from this person in every way, shape, or form. This person deceived you very, very badly. So even if they were to come back and tell you or, or your lovers to tell you, oh, I love you, I want to be in a relationship with you, whatever the case is, they still have the ability to still hurt you. Somebody here fucking does voodoo, Virgos. And I can see it in the fucking cards here, all right? Because I can, I, I, can, I can see it. I straight up, it is what it is. At the bottom of the deck, they want to come back uh, and talk to you here. Page of Swords, this person probably keeps their eye on you. And they want to have a new beginning here with you, Virgos. They're definitely stressed out over you at the moment uh, because the relationship between the two of you guys is stagnated. So there you go. Ace of Swords, they want to be with you or they want to talk to you. So do expect communication coming in for them. All right, King of Pentacles with the Queen of Pentacles. 
So both of you guys may be financially stable here, Virgos, all right? Some of you guys also travel for work here too, or you guys work on the internet or whatever. Uh, three of Wands, this person's still sitting and watching you. Somebody still hasn't, like they're trying to let go, but at the same time, they're not also able to let go either, Virgos. They just see, they just want to come back for you. They're trying to make the decision of how they want to come back for you and communicate with you, but they're going to with the Eight of Wands. But you guys are going to be defensive, and maybe this person misses you. Uh, as well, maybe you guys have a Pisces from the past who misses you too, who's trying to figure out if they should come back for you, but they don't want to fight with you, but they are going to fight with you at the same time because you're defending yourself with the Nine of Wands energy star card there. They're hoping that they're going to be able to see you again, and you guys are going to be able to be friends again here, but... You guys are standing in your power, Virgos. Ace of Pentacles, all right? Maybe this person might end up giving you a gift, but you guys are going to be like, no, I don't want it, Seven of Wands. You're not opening up your heart space for your for your Pisces, Virgos. It's just, it is what it is. Uh, and, uh, I guess they feel like, or you guys feel like here that if you guys go give a gift to your Pisces or vice versa, then, then they're going to be able to win you back, uh, nine of cups. They're, they're hoping that that's going to be a wish fulfillment for them. And, and if they're going to communicate to you about how they feel about you, they'll be able to come back for you and have a relationship and be happy with you here as well. So for some of you guys, you guys might be getting a gift, but you know, the reason why the energies of these readings fuck up real quickly, Virgos, is because... How are you going to have this Ace of Pentacles to the Seven of Wands to the Four of Pentacles? You're blocking them from bringing you anything towards you. Otherwise, I could be like, you know, they want to bring a gift towards you. They want to have happiness with you. And they want to have a happy home, a, a merriment home and, and perfection. And then you guys are going to live a happily ever after type of life. Friggin' Cinderella, the whole nine. I can't. The Seven of Wands is right there beside the Ace of Pentacles. So whatever this offer that they want to come bring you with, you guys are getting rid of it. You guys are saying, no, I don't want it. Four of Pentacles, no, I don't want it. I'm not opening up myself to you. I'm good. And they think that if they well, if they bring something towards you here, it's going to become the Six of Wands. They could, they'll have their victory and a wish fulfillment here as well. And then they can communicate with you. And they're still going to try and, and, and talk to you again with the, with the, with the Six of Swords to the Ten of Cups, to the Sun card. So this is what they want, all right? So in their hidden feelings, this is what they want. They want a happy home. They want a relationship. They want to be with you. They want to talk to you again. Uh, temperance card there, all right? So they want to heal with you here, Virgos. And uh, they they want to act like they're very much so uh, passionate about you. But this person also has a lot of addictions as well. Uh, there's somebody here who has a lot of addictions. And uh, between you and your Pisces, you guys are going to be really stressed out. Uh, for the first 10 days of of, of, um, of October. And you guys are going to be reflecting and going back to the way things had happened in the past. But regardless though, Magician card is there. You want to be still manipulative and very much still thinking only about themselves with the Chariot card there. And some of you guys might be moving away from this person because this person does not do nothing for you except bring burden into your life. Ten of Wands. You guys are going to say no. Uh... You know, Virgos, somebody here is definitely blindfolded, all right? And I don't see you guys trying to communicate with this person because I think you guys have very highly, are highly intuitive. And you guys can already see this shit for exactly what it is. Uh, regardless, though, um, you're not, somebody here also might be married or in a long-term relationship. But Virgos, it looks like between the two of you guys, someone here is going to retreat, take a time out as well. And, um... And, and, and kind of like maybe reflect on whether or not you actually want to be still married to this person, still be in a relationship with them, or even have a reunion with them for that matter. But as of right now, you guys are very smart, very analytical. You guys are able to see this shit for exactly what it is, especially with the High Priestess to the King of Swords energy. You guys are standing in your power. You guys, are, you guys are literally not going to be allowing this Pisces back into your life or vice versa for that matter. People say in the comments, oh, you know, uh, this is, it's, Virgo was the one that did, okay, well then place the reading where it belongs then. What do you want me to do about it? All right. I'm not going to hold your, hold your hand, the whole, no, no, it doesn't work that way. You're a grown up, put the reading exactly where it's, where it's supposed to be. And then if it resonates for you, then it resonates for you. And if it doesn't, uh, all right, great too. Like, what do you want me to do about it? Uh, at the end of the day though, Virgos, um, Four of Swords, someone's retreating. Somebody doesn't want nothing to do with this connection anymore, this marriage anymore either. Uh, but regardless of where it goes, a lot of deceptive energy between you and your person. If uh, your Pisces decides that they want to still be married to you or be in a relationship here with you, 
I don't see you guys making a move to your person in any way, shape, or form. You guys may literally go ghost on them or stay silent on them for, for a couple weeks for that matter. Thanks, cuties. Uh, bye.